morning everyone welcome back to JMC Creates my name is Jackie McKissick and today we are, I'm going to attempt something that I saw online this morning okay so I have an embossing folder this is the Spellbinders 3d embossing folder for July 23 Okay, and what you're going to do is take your Versamark, if you can find it. I did get it out. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, now what side do I want to put this on? I want to put it on, putting it on the flat side. And then just gently putting that on there, and then I get my bit of card, and I'm going to run that through my machine. Right, so now we should have Versamark on this bit here. Okay, so I'm going to take some perfect pearls. put it on it and see what happens and hopefully it's going to stick to the verse mark back okay and then you've got your shimmer and your white baubles and I like the way it's outlining that one I seem to have a bit more Versamark than this side but it's good enough for me So, let's operation clean up. Oops. Let me get some water. There we go. Right. And now I'm going to take some of this gold paint. Put some water in it. And take a paintbrush and smooth it up. Okay, and I'm going to put some spatter on this as well. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
Very nice. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let this dry. And operation cleanup. Ian. Okay, there we go. Right. Then. Then. Okay, so what we're doing next is now that our piece has dried, I have my card base is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters scored at four and one eighth this piece here of glitter card that I am using is five and five eighths by four we're going to put it down first that's going to be our mat Right, now our layer. It's going to go on top. And this is approximately three and three quarters by five and three eighths. If I can take it a minute to get it to stick because the water has warped it a little. Okay, now, now where's my bit for on top? Okay, so I've lost it. Right, so I found it. So I had this little die that I got with a magazine. So I have, and I have cut it out in gold, and then I've cut. This is the same background layer. I have cut it out in the letters out in white for a bit of contrast. Get out. Okay, and I'm just going to pop it up. Okay, and we're just going to set it in the middle. And that is going to be our card finish, apart from a few gems. So a really pretty background. I've never done that before. I quite like it. It's kind of distressed looking. This is going on there like that. I like the colour. I like this card against it. It's very pretty. Right, you know. I want to put on a few gems. Okay, we'll just dot some about the joint. Let's start with the gold. Let's start with the gold.
Okay. I'm going to use this kind of creamy one as well because it works well. The colour tone works well. And then I think we'll finish off with a smaller gold one. Just. Okay. So there is that one and I'm going to show you another one that I've done that's jazzy bright pink for those of you who'd like a little contemporary Christmas I hope this rocks your boat this is just an alcohol ink background that I did that I then embossed and I used that same die set. So, I hope you liked it. Thanks for stopping by. As always, it is appreciated. I hope you're all safe and well. Remember to thumbs up, etc. Till the next time. Jack Erich.